Hi guys, welcome you to this leak where today we're talking about sodium metabisulfite. Now sodium metabisulfite is a sterilizing agent. It's a powder which we add in to fermentations to sterilize it. At least that's one of the uses. Now to sterilize a fermentation, there's two instances where you might want to do that. First is at the start of the fermentation process. When you're making a fermentation, especially if you're using fruit for instance or even grains and so forth, you might find that they are covered or coated in bacteria and wild yeasts. Now wild yeast is not necessarily a bad thing. There's this whole movement about natural fermentation and wild fermentation and letting the, the area and the terroir speak through to the product when it ferments with the natural yeast that's present in the vineyards and in the orchards where the fruit comes from. But the problem with that is that if you don't know exactly what that wild yeast or bacteria is that's now inoculated into your fermentation, you might find that you either get off flavors, you get bad flavors, unwanted flavors, you don't get the alcohol percentage that you want, and so on and so forth. This is problematic for us if we're making a commercial product because we don't have consistency in our production. So the sodium metabisulfite allows us to sterilize the fermentation, kill all that wild yeast and bacteria, so that we can pitch our chosen yeast strain into the fermentation to get the yield that we want in terms of alcohol percentage and get the flavors that we want and aromas that we want during the fermentation process using that specific yeast. That's the one reason why we would sterilize the fermentation. The other reason we would sterilize the fermentation is if we do not want a dry fermentation. Now this becomes more of an issue when we are drinking the fermentation, when we're making a semi-sweet white wine, when we're making some kind of fermented fruit beverage like a Perrier or a cider. We want to leave some residual sugars behind for sweetness when we uh, drink the product. It is sometimes done in distillation fermentations as well to avoid yeast stress at the end of the fermentation process where to get that last bit of sugar converted, the yeast suffers stress and then it gives off flavors. So to avoid that, sometimes we sterilize the fermentation, stop the fermentation process, kill the yeast prior to it fermenting completely dry. That's the other way we use the sodium metabisulfite for fermentation sterilization is to intentionally stop it at that point. The last way we use uh, can or can use sodium metabisulfite is to sterilize equipment. Now you can either do this in a solution form where you dilute it in water and use that water to soak your equipment in or to wash your equipment with to sterilize it. You can also throw it into a little bit of water inside a fermentation tank where the uh, fumes and so forth that comes out of this liquid will sterilize the inside of the fermentation tank or holding tanks and vessels as well. So, very multi-purpose pro uh, product, different dosages obviously, so obviously applies for all the different usage. So all that uh, information, all those dosages is on the product page on our website so you can get all the information you need in how to, about how to use sodium metabisulfite.